11k per month with her social media marketing agency in less than 90 days this is what one of my students gabby was able to do with her social media marketing agency and on an incredibly value packed conversation i had with her she boiled down her success to three key things three key things that she did during her journey that led her to such quick success and what i want to do in this video is i want to share those three key strategies with you so you can go ahead implement them into your own agency and have insane success and so without further ado the first thing that she did or rather she didn't do is she didn't do money back guarantee guarantees and she also didn't do any of these crazy work for free offers that a lot of agency owners do because quite frankly the reality is that these money back guarantees that these you know work for free offers often do more harm than good for the agency owner and the simple reason is because the agency owner thinks that their offer their agency offer can simply stand on its own two feet by offering a money back guarantee and as a result because they think that with a money back guarantee or you know work for free people will just come flocking to them they give absolutely no thought to their process to results and also understanding their e-commerce needs like no one else in the industry which really does two things. Number one, it hurts the client results because the ones that do get onboarded because the agency offers a money back guarantee, the agency has put in no thought into how to actually get them results. And for the agency owner, it attracts the wrong client anyways. High quality clients want the best of the best and they will very happily pay to get the best of the best. Now, I'm not saying you should never use money back guarantees, but they should really only be used as a crutch to aid the sale. Essentially, you want to think of them as guns in your arsenal that you can take out at any point in the sales process if you ever find yourself struggling to convert the client. But they should never be used as the fourth front of the offer. Number two is having a 360 approach is literally the superpower of agency owners in 2022. And Gabby did this spectacularly. The truth is, if you're starting your agency and you're offering to run ads for e-com businesses, you cannot look at e-com growth from purely a Facebook ads lens, from purely a uh, Instagram lens, from purely a YouTube ads lens or a Snapchat ads lens. The e-com agency owners that are truly thriving, not only signing clients, but getting them incredible results are those agency owners that have a 360 approach when it comes to service delivery. Yes, Gabby has a flagship offer, which is actually a very cool flagship offer, which I'll talk about in just a second. And that allows us to keep complexity of the service delivery low. But we look at how this flagship offer affects the other components of the sales process. For example, is the offer that I'm driving all this traffic to, is it irresistible? Is it a good offer? Have I put any thought into creating a really solid solid offer for my client. Is the landing page that I'm driving all this traffic, is it optimized? Once they're in the funnel, once maybe they convert, are there back end of email setup so we make more money from this client that we just converted? And look, this may sound overwhelming, but you don't have to be an expert at all these different aspects of the funnel. You just have to put a little bit of thought into it before you actually onboard a client have consultations ready to go on all these different components of the sales funnel, and that will make you a very dangerous agency. Why? Because the switching cost, the cost to replace you is very, very high. There's gonna be very few people out there that have a holistic understanding of their business like you do. Focus on becoming hard to replace and you'll be very successful with your agency. And the final key that Gabby used to scale to 11K per month is understanding that Facebook ads are not the end all be all. The possibilities are literally endless. For example, Gabby actually chose to specialize in augmented reality ads. Sure, right now it's a smaller market, but she has fully committed to becoming the best of the best in this market and her present results and future results will show for it. Look, you may be seeing all these people just jumping into you know, Facebook ads for uh, e-com businesses, right? And if you do that, obviously it's gonna be saturated because if you do what everyone is doing in any industry, everything's saturated. But you need to understand that there are an infinite number of possibilities and combinations within the agency space. Not only can you pick a niche of your choice, I've got students doing anywhere from outdoor rec brands to Latino owned brands, but you can even also pick a service of your choice. Those are the three key things that Gabby used to scale her agency to 11K per month in 90 days. I'm gonna leave the full interview somewhere on the screen so you can check it out if you want and if you want to catch free trainings on how to sign clients how to get them incredible results and how to make more money from each client that you do sign i'm putting out an insane amount of free trainings i'm not posting anywhere else on my free facebook mastermind it's completely free to apply there's going to be a link in the description you can go ahead click on that fill out a bunch of questions we'll see if you're a good fit and if you are i look forward to seeing you there and with that being said i'll see you in the next video peace